Choosing the correct stem length can be a difficult decision because there's quite a few factors to think about. Well, the truth is, Neil, that having the correct stem length on your bike will not only transform the way you ride, but it will inspire confidence out on the trail. The things you need to consider when choosing the correct stem length are the style of terrain that you ride regularly, the style of frame you have, be it cross country, trail, downhill, whatever, and also consider the geometry of your bike, i.e. how long your top tube is, but also consider your height and your reach. Stems can be as short as zero millimetres and as long as 120 millimetres. As well as considering the length of your stem, the rise is also important. Negative rises tend to be more suited to marathon and cross country riding, where you need to keep the weight a bit lower for climbing. Flat or positive rises are more suited to downhill to keep the weight further back on the bike. Your bike will feel more nimble and therefore easier to change direction. As far as inputting movements to get desired amount of steering, it will be far less with a shorter stem. Saying that, with a longer stem when I ride them, it often feels like I'm sweeping from one side to the other and therefore slower steering. Stem length affects how your steering feels, we've shown that, but also the most important factor really is how easy or hard it will make riding downhills. A short stem makes it much easier to drop your weight to the back of the bike, so that actually when you're riding down a steep downhill, it will still be weighting both tyres pretty much equally. But with a long stem, that weight starts coming towards the bars and actually getting weight towards the front wheel. So it's much easier to keep weight back with a short stem. So what are the advantages of a long stem? Well, it can put you in a slightly nicer pedaling position. You're stretched out a little bit further, a bit more room on the bike, slightly more aerodynamic as well. But actually the main reason for a longer stem is for rising up steep climbs. It's gonna keep some weight on that front tire. So cross country racers use them so that when they start going up the steepest of climbs, the front wheel doesn't start lifting off the floor or start wandering around. So there you go, that's how stem length will affect how your bike rides. And for downhill, you'll be looking for anything up to 50 mil. Although recently we did a pro bike with Josh Bryceland, who runs a 60 mil stem, which we regard as trail sort of trail bike length. Yeah, anything over 50 mil, I start going towards trail bikes and then cross country bikes. My bike here, I'm running an 80 mil stem. Just nice for keeping that weight. Nice and low to the front tire for climbing. If you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up there for how to climb switchbacks. And if you click down here, that'll get you through to how to descend like a pro. As always, click on us to subscribe to the channel. Mm. Thanks for watching. Demlin, it not only transforms the way one can ride the bicycle, it also inspires confidence greatly out on the trail.